Marcus Aurelius Timeless Pearls of Wisdom, designed to impart strength, courage, and purpose to life, now find themselves contending with the disruptive presence of a four-cylinder Italian sports car, an unruly and comically annoying one at that. While the ancient philosopher might have advocated having power over one's mind, the persistent temptation of telephone dial alloys and a mid-engine silhouette appears irresistible. In a hypothetical twist, he might have exclaimed, you have power over your mind, buy a Cayman, buy a Cayman, for the love of all that's holy, just buy a Porsche Cayman yet, the allure of the Alfa Romeo 4C persists, despite its challenging driving dynamics, the writer expresses a longing for the 4C, perhaps driven by the desire to own a visually striking car in the midst of today's design extremes, in the realm of 2023's design landscape, where aggressive excess competes with streamlined homogeneity, the 4C stands out as a brilliant and timeless design. The prospect of owning one, despite its driving challenges, seems appealing, fueled partly by the vanity of being able to say, yeah, I've got an alpha. Aurelius warnings against bodily passions and desires take a backseat when the intoxicating sound of an Alfa Romeo, like the 147 GTA, enters the scene. The writer acknowledges the 4C's departure from Alpha's historic association with sonorous engines, given its turbocharged 1.7-litre four-cylinder engine that, despite its punchy 237 bhp, is criticized for being laggy and lackluster. The 4C's attributes, such as a carbon chassis, a weight of less than a ton, and the absence of power steering, could have positioned it as a compelling driver's car. However, the writer describes the driving experience as akin to wrestling with a supernaturally stubborn dog that dances to the beat of its own snoot. The Alfa Romeo 4C, it seems, demands commitment and resilience from its driver. Despite the acknowledged challenges, the writer dismisses practical concerns and urges a focus on the beauty of life. In a philosophical turn, it suggested that the pain of driving an Alfa 4C is not inherent to the car itself but resides in the driver's perception and that this perception can be altered at will. In a final admission, the writer declares, Damn it, here we go again. I want an Alfa Romeo 4C. Badly, encapsulating the magnetic pull of this Italian sports car, flaws and all.